Hey, this is Scott with the Scotch Test Dummies. Do you need more shelving space for your whiskey collection? I was in the same dilemma and I was ready to go to Ikea and buy some bookcases. And once I got to looking at prices online, plus driving several hundred miles to Ikea, I was going to spend five to six hundred dollars for the shelving space that I needed. I got to looking online and I found a uh, what I like, a, kind of an industrial look. Uh, using three-quarter inch black pipe and some two by tens and for a little less than two hundred dollars I made my own uh, shelves back here behind me and I've had several questions come in on them so I thought I'd kind of just do a video and show everybody an, a nice shelving system that's very sturdy. So let's start at the beginning three-quarter inch black pipe there's galvanized pipe and there's black pipe. Galvanized pipe costs a little bit more than black pipe does. I bought 18 inch uh, sections of three quarter inch pipe. It's threaded on both ends. And I bought 12 inch uh, three quarter inch pipe sections to go to the wall to hold the shelving. You, you also need um, T-joints and wall flanges as well. All of my piping I bought on eBay and or Amazon. For this section, or these two uh, supports, I spent $130 on Amazon and eBay. That same shelving or these same pipes at Lowe's or Home Depot would have been about $160, $180. I went with uh, two by tens for my shelves. Uh, a two by is a lot thicker than a one by and I didn't want any bowing. I wanted to be able to support the weight of the bottles. And I knew with a two by 10 uh, that no, there shouldn't be any bowing. This should hold plenty of weight for whiskey bottles. I've got four racks or four shelves and I used two and a half inch number nine cabinetry screws to go through the wall flanges into the studs. I like the dark color. Uh, I had some shelves already in place over here from Ikea. They were kind of a black color and I wanted something close but not black. I went with Minwax Espresso stain. And I'll put some pictures in here as I'm talking and show you. It's a really dark finish. I used the poly shades. It's a stain and a polyurethane in one. It's the fast way basically. I did do two coats. Um, on the shelves and it's got a nice shiny uh, flat surface and I went two stud widths basically so 32 inches if you wanted to go every 16 inches if your studs are 16 inch on center like they should be you can do that you just have another support beam in the middle here what I do like about this is really the expandability now I've got this will hold about these four shelves five feet long will hold about 200 bottles what I do like with this is that if I wanted to push this out and take it on another three feet over and make eight foot shelves, all I have to do is buy enough pieces of pipe to make one more support. And I would place it 32 inches from this one. And that would be enough. All I'd have to do is replace these five foot boards. I'd buy some, some two by 10 by eight footers and I'd have a new shelf that goes all the way over. And the same over here on this wall, if I want to expand it out, it's pretty easy to do. They're also portable. If you move, all you have to do is take off uh, your shelving, take your uh, wall, undo your wall flanges from the wall, and it all comes apart. Easily portable. The pipe I put together this whole section separate by itself and I did everything with a pipe wrench and I tightened it down every joint as tight as I could using a pipe wrench to really crank those uh, these joints down and get as much bite from the threads as you can. So this piece of pipe was built on its own. The second one same and then I attached them to the wall with the two and a half inch number nine screws. Put my boards on there and you do secure underneath the boards as well with a, uh, a wall clamp for the pipe just to help hold your shelving on there. And you can see this is, this is sturdy. This is not going anywhere. 
keep in mind also all of your weight is rest pushing straight down um, and I do have wall flanges on the bottom also for support I did not fasten them to the floor at all now the only miscalculation I did I am in my basement and I have seven a seven and a half foot uh, floor to ceiling I thought I would have more space on my top shelf um, and I don't I can only I it, where this is an 18 inch pipe in between here you've got a t-section you gain about a half an inch at the top and the bottom but you put your two by in there you can and these are what i went by was eh taylor and my, i've got my eh taylor bottles down here i wanted to make sure i had enough room for them there's not too many bottles taller than an eh taylor so you can see these 18 inch using the 18 inch pipe as risers here uh, it gives you plenty of room for your tall bottles the only thing you could do if you wanted a little variance, you could do, there's not, a, there's not a 16 inch or a 14 inch. Your next option would be a 12 inch. You know, it's going to be a little bit shorter and you could have taller shelves. You could have a shorter shelf for smaller bottles uh, to put in there. But as you can see, this shelf is going to hold about 200 bottles. So I did it in a weekend. Total cost was un just under $200. And I've got uh, four shelves, 200 bottles in storage. If I want to attach some lights, I can do it just right underneath here. And that's it. I love these shelves. I love the expandability of them. And I'm looking forward to what, what I do in the future with these. Good luck. If you have any questions, comment. And I'll try to address what I can. Thanks for watching.